Hi folks, it's good to be with you today, sharing the Word of God, <laughs> sharing the, the Word of God today. Isaiah uh, chapter 6, read the words. Then said I, then said I, woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips, for my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongue of the altar, and he said unto me, my mouth said, Lord, this has touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin is purged. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, Here I am, send me. And he said, Go, I tell this people here, ye indeed, but understand not, and you see indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and make their ears heavy and their eyes lest their eye lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed and then in verse 3 it says the one cried unto another and said holy 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 is the lord of hosts the whole earth is full of his glory what we've been talking about today is the greatness of God. That God, sorry, that God is a great God. That God is a holy God. And God is a mighty God. And, and as a great God, He's over the nations, He's over the mountains, He's over the universe. He created everything. Sorry. He created everything. He created everything that you see. And He has all power and all glory. And He is a mighty God and a great God. And this God, who is great and mighty and glorious and all powerful, is your Creator. He's the one who sustains everything. The Bible calls Him Yahweh in Exodus chapter 4. This God is the Creator God, the mighty God, the glorious God. The awesome God. He's the God of all the universe. He's the God of all creation. He's the living and true God. He's the mighty God. The glorious God. And as God, He is to be worshipped. As God, He is to be honoured. And this God loves you. This God came and died for you. This God came and died for you on that cross. Gave His life for you on that cross. Shed His blood for you on that cross. But he is a great God, and a mighty God, and a glorious God, and an awesome God. And he wants you to know him. He wants you to be his friend. He wants you to be his friend today. And he wants you to know that he is your father, God, today. And he wants a relationship with you, and he wants you to have a relationship with him. But this great God, this mighty God, this awesome God, Something separates us from Him. And it's sin. S-I-N. Sin. And sin is the breaking of the law of God. It is any want of conformity to the law of God. When the Bible says, do not lie. The Bible says, do not steal. The Bible says, do not commit adultery. The Bible says, honor your father and mother. The Bible says, honor the Sabbath. The Bible says, there is only one true God. The Bible says that we should not use the Lord's name in vain. And basically, we have dishonored God. We, we have small views of the God Most High. We look down on the God Most High. We don't honor the God Most High. We don't honor the Creator of the universe. We don't honor His name. We don't think He's important anymore. And we reject Him. And we trample upon Him. But you cannot ignore this God.
because this God is a roaring lion and he will consume who he will. This God is an awesome God and he cannot be defeated. This is an awesome God. And this God, this God is in control of all the nations. He's, control, he's in control of our nation. He can rip this nation apart in one hour. He can destroy this nation in one minute if he wants to. That is how awesome God is. This God can create a universe at the blink of an eye. This God gives you life. This God gives you hope. This God gives you life today. And if you want to know this God, if you want to be right with this God, you have to realize that we're all guilty before Him. The Bible tells us in the Ten Commandments, Thou shalt not lie, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not commit adultery, Thou shalt honor your father and mother. Thou shalt honor the Sabbath day. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not use the Lord's name in vain. And we use the Lord's name in vain. We use the name of God as a curse word. We honor idols rather than the true most high God. We honor idols rather than the living God. God bless you. We honor idols rather than the true and living God. I'm okay. You okay? good to see you. We honor idols rather than the true most high God. We love idols rather than the true most high God. We love this world rather than the true most high Yahweh God. And we don't love him. We don't honor him. We don't bring him glory. The one who is above all things. The one who is the creator. The one who is majestic. The one who is glorious. We don't honor him. We don't bring him glory. We bring glory to ourselves, we bring glory to this world, we bring glory to everything else, but we don't bring Him glory. We don't live for Him and His glory. We don't honor Him and live for Him. And so our mind has been shrunken about God. Our mind is small about God. And we have to be coming back to God. We have to return back to God. We have to return back to the living God. We have to return back to Yahweh. We have to return back to the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. We have to return back to our Creator. And we ignore our Creator at our peril. We ignore Him as a, at our peril as a nation. We will trample under the law of God and as a nation we will come under the fire and the wrath of God. As a nation God will tear this nation apart if we continue to reject His law. If we can continue to reject His commandments, if we continue to trample on the God of the Bible, God will trample on us. God bless you, bro. Are you okay? Keep serving the Lord, yeah? God bless you. God will trample upon this nation. He will rip this nation apart. He will tear this nation apart. He will uproot this nation apart. If this nation continues to reject His commandments, continues to reject what He is giving you today, Choose you life or death. Choose you life as a nation or death as a nation. As a nation we are choosing death. As a nation we're heading into hell. As a nation we're heading into destruction. As a nation we are crumbling. As a nation we are falling apart. As a nation we have lost our vision of the living, true and mighty God. Our God is small today. Our God is small. We mock Him. We humiliate Him and we trample on Him and we ignore Him but God is the living, mighty Jehovah Jireh, my provider He is the living and true and mighty, glorious God and He will not be mocked and He will not be laughed and He will not be trampled on for God is a roaring lion God is a consuming fire and when God moves, the nation will fall when God moves, the nation will be broken up when God moves Parliament will be destroyed. When God moves, this nation will be broken up. Because God is God on the throne. And God says, America you live, America you die. Australia you live, Australia you die. UK you live, UK you die. Egypt you live, Egypt you die. God is on the throne and He's over the nations. He's over this nation and He's over every nation. And when God calls a nation, He can take a nation out. At one blink of an eye, it can destroy America. At one blink of an eye, it can destroy Russia. God is on His throne and He is a mighty, glorious God. And now God wants you to know Him. 
God is inviting you to know Him. God wants you to be in relationship with Him. God loves you. And He's crying out with His love. He's crying out with His love today. He's showing you love today. He's showing you tenderness today. Choose ye life. Come to me all you who are weak and heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me and learn of me. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And God offers you his love today. God gives you his love today. God shows you his love today. He offers you his love today. He gives you his peace today. His love today. All the love of God is there for you. The love of God is there for you today. To take and believe and to find peace and wholeness in your life. To find deliverance in your life. Joy in your life. Peace in your life. Hope in your life. Strength in your life. There he is for you today if you would but believe in him. Trust in him. And then you'll find peace in your bones. You won't find peace in your bones getting drunk. Your bones won't find peace if you get drunk. But you'll find peace in your bones when you believe in Jesus. There'll be peace in your heart. Hope in your heart. Love in your heart. Joy in your heart. When you find Jesus. When you find his love. The love of Jesus is there for you today. The love is, is there for you today. That love of Jesus is there, that you may know his love, that you may know his peace, that you may know his grace. That love is there for you to take and believe right now, and it's free right now, and offered to you right now. And if you take it right now, you'll be saved. If you take it right now, you'll be born again. If you take it right now, you'll be saved and go to heaven. If you take it right now, you'll be delivered of your sin, for Jesus is the one that died and loved you and gave his life for you. Jesus is the one who gave his life. He said, no greater love than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends, and Christ laid down his life for you. He took the blows for you upon the cross. They whipped his back. They whipped him. They mocked him. They humiliated him. And he took those blows for you, so that you may know the God Most High, so that you may come into the presence of the God Most High, that you may know the living God, that you may worship the living God, that you may honor the living God. He took the blows for you on that cross. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. I am the light of the world. I am the bread of life. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Verse 14, chapter 1 of John. It says, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Jesus is the shepherd. He said, I am the good shepherd. He said, I am the light of the world. He said, before Abraham was, I am. And he comes to give you life. He comes to give you hope. He comes to give you joy. He comes to give you peace. The peace of God is there for you. The hope of God is there for you. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Not alcohol. Alcohol is not your strength. Alcohol will not help you. But Jesus will help you. Jesus will give you strength. Jesus will give you peace. Jesus will give you hope. Drugs will not help you. Drugs will not help you. Alcohol will not help you. Anger will not help you. Hatred will not help you. But Jesus is the joy of the Lord. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And that is who you need today. You need the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. You need Christ in your life. You need Christ as your Savior. You need Christ as your Lord. And if Christ becomes your Lord, and if Christ becomes your Savior, you will be delivered from alcohol. You'll be delivered from drugs. You'll be delivered from pornography. You'll be delivered, my friend, from your addiction, whatever it is. You will be delivered, and you will be set free, and you will have peace, you will have hope, you will have joy, you will have strength in your bones, and you'll be a new creature in Christ Jesus. You'll be a new man, and you'll be a new woman in Christ. All because of Christ. For Christ is the one that loved you and gave his life and he is the one that will rescue you today from the pit of hell. So my friend, the love of God is there for you. The joy of the Lord is there for you. Peace is there for you. Hope is there for you. All in Christ. Jesus said, come to me, all you who are weak and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And the love of Jesus is here today. The love of Christ is here. And that love is there to set you free today. That love is there to give you peace today. That love is there to give you hope today. That love is there to give you strength today. That love will set you free. That love will bring you into the God Most High. That love will bring you into His presence because He wash away your sin. 
He'll clean you and He'll make you a new creature in Christ. All because of His blood. Jesus said, you must be born again. And Nicodemus says, you know, can a man be born again? He said, yes, you must be born again. And the word born again means born from above. It means born from above. Born by the power of the Holy Spirit. And if you let Christ in your life, He will change you. If you let Christ in your life, He'll make you anew. If you let Christ in your life, He'll deliver you. If you let Christ in your life, He'll give you hope. If you let Christ in your life, He'll give you strength. For He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And He is the one that you need right now in your life. He is the one that can set you free. He is the one that brings you into the presence of the God Most High. For God is three in one. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. In Him is the fullness of the Godhead bodily. All the bodilyness of God, all the glory of God, all the divinity of God is in Jesus. And Jesus is the Lord, He is the living Saviour. And He is the one that can set you free today. He is the one that can give you peace today. You're looking around and you're wondering where you're going in your life. You're wondering if there's purpose in your life. You're wondering why you're here. You're here for a purpose. That purpose is to love God and your neighbor as yourself. But it begins by acknowledging that you're a sinner. It begins by acknowledging you need Jesus. You need His salvation. You need His forgiveness. You need that blood that covers your sin. If you don't, you're going to go to hell and the wrath of God will come upon you. Jesus says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. He is the one who is the creator of the universe. And He is the one that can save you. He is the one that can bless you right now. But you've got to come to Christ and know that only way to God is through Christ. Only way to Christ, only way to God is Christ. And the only way to Christ is repentance. You have to repent of your lies. If you've been lying to the tax man, you have to repent. If you've been stealing, you have to repent. If you've been lying, you have to repent. If you've been swearing like against a rapper, you have to repent. If you're sleeping around, you have to repent. And if you repent, you turn away and you come to Jesus. And know that Jesus will wash away your sin. Doesn't matter if you've slept with 29 guys, 500 guys, 1,000 guys. If you repent, you can be forgiven today. If you repent, you can be washed today. If you repent, you can be clean today. You can be a new creature in Christ. But there's only one way to the Most High. There's only one way to the Most High God. And that is through Jesus Christ. And if you want to know the Most High God, you've got to go through Christ. And that is the only way to the Most High God. Through Christ. For Christ is the fullness of the Godhead bodily. It says in Galatians chapter 1, Cursed is anyone who preaches not the Gospel. And the Gospel is that Christ was crucified for you on that cross. The Gospel is that when Christ died on that cross, He took the punishment for your sin, and He died on your behalf that you may live. He died on your behalf that you may have life. He died on your behalf that you may have peace. That's why He died on that cross, because He loved you, and died to wash away your sin. He did, He did, He did. Well, prove it then. Prove it. Prove it. He died to wash away your sin. He died to clean you and wash away your mistakes. And wash away your sin. That's why He died on that cross. And if you want peace, if you want joy, if you want hope today, if you want to know His love, if you want to know His grace, if you want to know His peace, you come to the blood of Jesus Christ. For only the blood can save you. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. That blood was shed for you on that cross. That blood was given for you on that cross. That blood will set you free on that cross. That blood was shed. That blood was divine blood. That blood was heavenly blood. That blood was glorious blood. That blood was heavenly blood. That blood was the blood of God and the blood of God was shed for you. The blood of God was given for you. The blood of God takes away the condem condemnation in your life. The blood of God takes away the judgment in your life. The blood of God cleanses you and washes you and only by the blood can you be saved. You cannot be saved by anything else. You cannot be saved by anything else. There's nothing on heaven or earth you can be saved but by the blood of Christ. God will not go away. 
God is here, He's always here, and He knows where you live, He knows where you go, and He follows you everywhere you go, He knows everything you've done wrong, He knows you by name. And this God is a glorious God, is a mighty God, and if you want to know this God, you know Him by the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of Jesus, by the blood of the Lamb. That is how you know this God, by that blood. And only by that blood can you be saved. Only by the blood of Christ can you be saved. Only by the blood of the Lamb. And without the blood of the Lamb, you cannot be saved. Only by that blood. And if you come to that blood, you will be saved. You'll be saved from the wrath to come. You'll be saved from hell. And you'll come into the presence of the God Most High by the blood of the Lamb. For the blood of the Lamb will cover the wrath of Father because the blood was shed on your behalf. The blood takes away your condemnation. The blood takes away your judgment. The blood takes away the wrath of God upon you. For the blood was shed for you. And if you want forgiveness, if you want peace, and if you want to be right with God, you've got to know that the blood was shed for you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes on Him shall not perish. God bless you. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes on Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. The self-righteous, those who think they know God, but they don't know God, the self-righteous and proud. For God hates pride. God hates pride. But the proud will not enter the kingdom of heaven. The proud and the wicked and the hateful will not enter the kingdom of heaven. The only way into the God Most High the only way into the presence of Yahweh, the only way into His presence, is to know that He is an awesome God. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 6, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Holy, Holy, Holy is a Holy God. He's a Holy God. He's a great God. He's an awesome God. He's a mighty God. And we've rejected this God. We've ignored God. We've laughed at God. God has given you your life right now. God has given you the sun to enjoy right now. And you reject Him. God has given you the breath in your, in your body. And you reject Him. God has given you the life that you have right now. And you reject Him. God has given you hope right now. And you reject Him. He is the God who has created you. He is the God who loves you. He is the God who has given you life. Has given you hope. Given you joy. And yet... You reject Him. You reject Him. But yet, He is awesome. He is mighty. He is glorious. So come, while you can. Escape the wrath of God while you can. Escape the fire of God while you can. Escape the judgment of God while you can. Escape that wrath before it's too late. Before you enter hell and regret that you ever renew me. That you ever rejected what I said. Enter the kingdom of God while you can now and escape the wrath of God now while you can. Before it's too late, before you die and you enter into the gates of hell, you need to know right now where you stand with God. You need to know right now where you stand with the living God. You need to know now that your conscience is washed by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Christ. You need to know that your conscience is clean by the blood of the Lamb. You need to know that your conscience is clean by the blood of Jesus. For God is an awesome God and God is the creator of the universe. He is the creator of your life. He is the creator of this nation. And He holds this nation in the palm of His hand. He holds this nation in the palm of His hand. And He's a mighty, glorious and great, awesome God. And He cannot be defeated. He cannot be ignored. And if you ignore Him, and if you mock him, and if you laugh at him, and you ignore him, my friends, you cannot ignore him. For there will be a day of wrath. There will be a day of judgment upon the nation. There will be a day of consuming fire upon the nation. If we continue to reject the living and true God. You cannot reject him. You cannot ignore him. You continue to do it. You continue to reject. You continue to ignore. But yet the wrath of God will come upon the land like you've never seen before. A nation uprooted by its roots, thrown to the fire, thrown to the wind, by the great and awesome Most High God. So right now, 
You need to bow the knee and humble yourself. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Humble yourself before Him. Humble yourself before Him. Cry out to Him. Say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, forgive me. Lord, cleanse me. Lord, wash me. Lord, forgive me of my sin. Cleanse me of my sin. Clean me of my sin. And if you repent, you will be forgiven. But if you do not repent, God will come in great fire and great judgment upon this land. He will come in fire that you've never seen before. He will come in wrath that you've never seen before. He will come in wrath that you have never ever imagined could ever happen to this nation. And you've been warned. You have been warned by God that you have to repent while you can and flee the wrath of God now and come to the love of God. Come to the love of Jesus. Come to the love of Christ. Come to the love of Jesus. Come to the love of Christ the Savior. Come to Him who loved you and He gave His life for you. Shed His blood. Shed Shed his blood. Shed his blood for you, bro. Shed his blood. No, he shed his blood. His blood for you. He died for you. But he died. He died for you, bro. He gave his blood for you. He died for you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And the Son of God shed his blood and hung on that cross as your savior that's why he died on that cross he hung on that cross he hung on that cross as your savior he hung on that cross as your lord that's why he died on that cross to give you life to give you hope and to give you a future that's why he loved you there he shed his blood there the messiah shed his blood and died on your behalf there he hung on that cross. He hung on that cross as your saviour. There, the blood was shed. He says they crucified him. And they crucified him. They nailed him to that cross. The Son of God was nailed to that cross. And as he was nailed to that cross, he shed his blood. It was divine blood. And that divine blood was being poured out for you. That divine blood was being shed for you. That blood was the blood of God. And that blood was the blood of Jesus. And that blood was poured out. That blood was poured out willingly, lovingly poured out for you. Lovingly he gave himself for you. Lovingly he died for you. Lovingly he died for you. Lovingly he gave himself. He poured out his love to you. And that love is there for you today. Just as you get a bucket of water and you drink the water in a thirsty land so you can drink the love of God today in Jesus by taking Him in by faith in your heart. By faith in your heart. Allow the love of Jesus in. And allow that love to fill you afresh today. Allow that love to fill you afresh. That love of God in Jesus. That love of God will fill you with peace. That love of God will fill you with joy. That love of God will fill you with hope. That love of God will fill you with peace. That love of God will fill you today with all that you need in Him. For He will be all that you need. For He is the Jehovah Jireh. He is the living God. He is the mighty Savior. He is the mighty King. And He will meet your need and He'll be there for you. And He'll bless you and He'll help you. And He'll strengthen you. And He'll walk with you. And He'll be with you in your pain. He'll be with you in your darkness. He'll be with you when you need Him. He'll be there when you need Him. For He will walk with you. And He will be there with you, my friends. Guide me, O thou great Jehovah. Pilgrim through this barren land. I am weak, but thou art needed. He is Jehovah. And He will be with you. And He will walk with you. And He will help you. And in your tears, He'll be there with you. In your tears, He'll wipe away your tears. And He'll comfort you in your night. He'll comfort you in the day. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. 
Ye though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. And he will walk with you in your pain. He will walk with you in your darkness. He will walk with you in your struggles. He will walk with you, for he is Jehovah Jireh. Hiya, brother. How are you doing? God bless you. Hey, mate. You all right? Oh, it's good to see you. Oh, it's good to see you, mate. It's good to see you. You sit on the chair if you want. He's Jehovah Jireh. And he's there. And he'll carry you. He'll help you, he'll comfort you, he'll strengthen you, he'll be there for you. But, you take whatever you want, take whatever you want. He will carry you, he will help you, he will show you his love, he will show you his peace, he will show you his joy.